Hi, uh, we're going to do tab five now, uh, systems of equations. So there are three ways to solve systems of equations. And the first way is graphing. So graphing. And when you graph systems of equations, um, there are, what you're doing is you're reading where the two lines intersect. So usually they intersect in an ordered pair. So you are telling where the lines intersect. Intersect. All right, so lines either intersect in one point, therefore having one solution, and that one solution is the ordered pair. Uh, so whatever that ordered pair is, uh, so an ordered pair. Um, the second thing that can happen is they could be parallel to each other. And in that case, they don't intersect, so there's no solution. And then the third thing that could happen is the lines are literally right on top of each other. And so that's the uh, same line. Oh wait, this was parallel lines. And this is same line. And when that happens, then there are infinitely many solutions. So you don't say all real numbers because it's not every single solution in the whole world because this ordered pair over here doesn't work and this one doesn't work, but all these on the lines do work. So there's infinitely many solutions. So, uh, for example, if I had, uh, let's just say, 2x plus y equals 9, and 3x minus y equals 1, and I went to graph them. So, if you went and did a graph, so let's see. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So x, y, uh, zero. Okay, so I counted by ones. So in this one, if I was going to graph it, I could say, okay, so if I was going to do it by x and y intercepts, I would say, okay, the y intercept is the value of y when x is zero. So if x is zero, x isn't there at all, and then the y intercept is nine. So there's a dot there. And then if I want the x-intercept, I put in 0 for y, and 2 times what is 9, and so that's 9 halves, or 4 and a half. So 1, 2, 4 and a half. Or you could get y alone, that's your other alternative, and you'd have, um, you could have or y equals negative 2x plus 9. And if you did that, then your y-intercept is still 9, but your slope is negative 2, so down 2 Right one, down two, right one, down two, right one, down two, right one. Anyway, either way, you get a line like that. Okay, and let's pretend it goes through there and there. Then we would do this one. And so in this one, let's see. If I did the y-intercept, I would cover up the x. So the opposite of what is one, so negative one. So the y-intercept is negative one. And then the x-intercept, if y is 0, then the x-intercept is 1 third. So then you would uh, draw a straight line to connect them. And then you read where they cross each other. And I didn't use graph paper, so it's not exactly perfect, but let's see. It looks like it crosses at 2, 5. Now remember, you can always check that. Is 2 times 2 plus 5 really 9? And it is. And is 3 times 2 minus 5 really 1? And it is. So you know that this one had one solution, and that solution was 2 comma 5. So way 1 is graphing. It takes the longest, um, and you do have to be really neat and careful, but it does work. All right, the second way is substitution. So substitution is when you literally substitute. So in substitution, the first step is to get a variable alone. Then plug in for that variable 
in the other equation. All right, so in our example before, we had 2x plus y equals 9 and 3x minus y equals 1. So you would look at these and ask yourself, well, which is the easiest to get alone? And this y is the easiest. So we get y alone by minusing 2x. So y equals 9 minus 2x. So then I take that and I put that in for y in the other equation. So 3x minus 9 minus 2x equals 1. So 3x minus 9 plus 2x equals 1. So 3x and 2x is 5x, minus 9 equals 1, add 9, so 5x equals 10, divide by 5, x is 2. Then plug back in, and you can plug back into this one, this one, or this one, it doesn't matter. Pick any one that has an x and a y, I'll pick that one. So y equals 9 minus 2 times 2, so that gives me 5. So my answer is 2 comma 5. So that's by substitution. And then the third way, which is elimination, which is my favorite, um, some people call that call it the addition method. And that one, if I have 2x plus y equals 9, and I have 3x minus y equals 1, if I add them up, the y's just simply disappear. Now, if that doesn't happen, you have to multiply one or both of them through by something so that when you add them up, something disappears. But in this one, it easily disappears. So 2x and 3x is 5x. The y's cancel. And 9 and 1 is 10. So x is 2. Then plug back in. 2 times 2 plus y equals 9. And you plug back into either one. So 4 plus y equals 9. So y equals 5. And you still get 2 comma 5. Um, but don't forget, whenever you're using substitution or elimination, if when you add the two equations together, everything cancels out and you end up with 0 equals 0, then that's when it's the infinitely many solutions. Um, if when you add them together, the letters disappear, but the numbers don't equal each other, like you end up with something like 5 equals 9, then that would be a no solution. And that's it for that.